Hello, dynamic stars. Azurai 22 coming to you, as you know, as always, to bring your intuition to the fore, to bring you more into your life. So today, I've been thinking about how we're going to do this reading. I have my decks here. Got four different decks here. And it just doesn't feel quite right. It feels more like I need to just do a reading from spirit and allow what needs to come to come. We're going to do three piles. One pile will be this crystal. Beautiful point out of the matrix. And then this pyramid. And then a selenite tower. Hmm. I forgot to bring something for this. Be right back. I have a receptacle for the smoke. For the ash. <sighs> We're going to call down everybody's ego and everybody's ancestors so that we can have this reading. We're going to just jump right in. For those of you who chose this beautiful point coming out of this matrix. Right now, let's say it's pointing to you. If it is pointing to you, this crystal beam, direct from source, direct from divine, is shining the light on you and that thing that you're working on. Whether it is the job, whether it is the relationship, whether it is the children, whether it's school, whether it is that nefarious project Maybe not nefarious. Let's just say the project has some challenges. Let's just call it that. Maybe it's shining the light on one of these areas. Should it be doing so, you must ask yourself, why is it being pinpointed by the divine at this time? You probably already know. It's probably been in your spirit. It's probably been in your mind. Something is always happening in this particular area. It is always this thing at this time in the last few weeks, couple of months. It's not a coincidence. You must stop thinking it is a coincidence. It is not. This is the divine showing you, being very, very specific. This. That is the problem. What are you going to do? You already have a little tickle. Already the little nudge in your spirit, in your mind, in your gut, wherever you feel it, in your pinky toe. I really need to do something about it. I keep avoiding it. I keep ignoring it. Why am I ignoring it? Because you don't want to deal with it. Because you already know what you're supposed to do. You probably got it in a dream or one of your best friends, your mother, your sister, your cousin, some loved one already told you what needs to be done and you don't want to do it. This video is confirmation that what they tell you is correct. You keep playing and the divine is not going to appreciate it. Oh, be nice and pull a card, yes? I'm going to pull, ask your guides. This light is shining so that you know we are not lying. We are not speaking untruth. Master teacher, purpose. Read from the book so you don't get it from me. So you don't think I'm lying. It's the same thing. This is number 38. Three, Sebek, challenge areas. Three is always a number of crossroads situations. You could either do this 
for this, yes? But when you make that decision, you are committing yourself to an action. When you commit yourself to a specific action, there's no turning back in this case. That eight is that infinity symbol, yes? This is something that will be a perpetual problem for you if you continue with it or choose the choice that you are tempted to take because it would ease you, you think, in a certain way. Everything that looks good isn't easy. Consistency, dedication, reliability, faithfulness. You're beginning to stride into your purpose. Work is no longer a struggle and your master teacher is guiding you along the way. The more aligned you become with your life's proper path, the more your days will flow with ease. You'll lose track of all barriers as you go with the flow and throw your heart and soul into the efforts. Doing what you love so well and so faithfully fulfills you. Your challenge is to resist the temptation to push yourself to exhaustion. Remain measured and steady and don't overlook the importance of taking a day of rest at least once a week. Your master teacher is pleased with your progress, but reminds you that even though you may love your work and feel that you could work forever, your body and mind do get fatigued. Develop the wisdom to know when to step away and refresh your soul. Your master teacher's message, pace yourself. Get on your right track. Find that truth within yourself to do what the truth of the situation is. The divine is showing you and guiding you where to go. Do not veer off your path. Stay in alignment. There are many things that are calling your attention. That's why the light is being shined on it. You could do one or the other. The choice is up to you. But you go down the other path where your spirit is already nudging you, you will have problems. Hmm. For those of you who chose number two, this is the pyramid. If you look at it, there are inclusions everywhere. They look like it's eaten out, but that particular crystal in there is to help you to organize I do believe it's a rag night. It's to help you to get in a flow. You know that thing that they call flow where you are literally like in the zone, focused, getting it. Like the football players when they get in the zone and they are going to make that goal. That is in flow. That is what that crystal does. And it's in this beautiful blue and white. Cool, calm, but focused on the inside. What is it that you are doing that makes you feel like that, where you're in flow? That is where you have to focus. Because when you come out of that flow, you come back down several frequencies and you're not feeling quite right. Something is out of sorts, you say, because you came out of alignment with your purpose, the divine, the relationship, the job, whatever it is. And this might be something more personal. This feels like it could be a relationship or it could be your relationship to, there it is, 
This is your relationship to yourself and what you're doing in the world. And where you find or feel that you belong in the world. If you do not stay in the flow like this, in all of this blue and all this calmness, if you do not keep that momentum going, you will falter and think that, oh, that wasn't for me. That wasn't the life for me. Uh, it was a lucky streak. It is not a lucky streak. This is who you are. Have the perseverance, the dedication, the organization, the focus to stay there and know that everything is going the right way. Sometimes we are challenged. Sometimes we have monkey wrenches thrown into our path to see if we really want it, if temptation will pull us off and do something else. You must try to remain very clear about the things you said you wanted, because in your case, you made a plan. You were very diligent. You did all of the research. You did everything. You turned over all of the stones. So you know what you want to do. You are faltering because it's getting hard. Because it's challenging for you right now. You want to stop. But it's not for you to stop. It is for you to gain the emotional strength to move forward and continue on the path that you have already decided. Some of you may have already gone and gotten a reading, um, sat at the foot of your spiritual leader, um, mentor, and have gotten the words of words and know this is the right place for you. But now it's like, Oh my God, my money's a little funny. Oof. You know, I'm working like 75 hours a week. I don't get to hang out and meet with my friends or do that daily massage or weekly, monthly, whatever it is. You're not doing the things that make you feel like you. In this moment of time, it's literally a moment of time for you to get through this thing, what you have to do to get to the other side. But you knew this intellectually. Going through it doesn't feel so great. If you have to learn a new program, you've got to learn a new program and all the bumps and things that go with it. If you're in school, school is school. You have your tests, you have your papers, you have your projects, you have all of the things that have to be done. If you are in a brand new facility, office, job, whatever it is, you have to learn all the different steps uh, for that place. There are protocols, there are rules, there are best practices. You might have to learn a new way of thinking about things because where you came from, everything you know is like opposite day at this new place. You've got to clear your mind and go, all right, this is not what I'm used to. Let me figure it out. Get the pen and paper. Remember, the organization of the Aragnite. You have to get that. And every time you've got to say to yourself, this is a different place. I need to write this down. I need to commit it to memory. I need to put it in my phone. Have your little checklist. Because what you're experiencing is a fatigue of the soul, the spirit, because it's a lot. And new things create this learning curve that we always hear about. That's what you're in. You're in a learning curve. Use those organizational skills, the, the, the precise steps, breaking it into manageable pieces for you to be successful.
for those of you who chose this lovely selenite tower. For those of you who chose number three. I've given you a little clean off here. Hmm. This never needs to charge. This never needs to clean off. It self cleans. Right? The selenite. You take your other pieces and you put them on here to clean them. You have to put these in the moon, a little bit of sun, little water, whatever it is, incense, smoke, whatever you're going to do. And you must clean these or you put them on this. These never clean because they are in constant high frequency. That's who you are. You're coming to this reading to hear that you are always in a high state of alignment. You may feel separate. You may feel a little removed. It is not because of not belonging. It is because you are a little different. You may have challenges beyond challenges and upset after upset after upset. And that is because you are being refined. Refined for your next assignment. You probably have seen inklings of this. You may have gotten dreams already about this. It may include working with other people. It may be you are being called to either mentor others, train and assist others. You might even need to start um, a group, an organization, um, a nonprofit of some kind so that you can continue the work that you're doing and attract the people you need to attract to work on the mission that has already come to you. You are building bridges between this world and other areas, other galaxies. I am called to pull one of these starseed cards because of all of the decks. This is the deck that very much feels like starseed, other, that needs strength, confidence, belief that this is true. You may never have heard of this. You may never have dealt or come across this starseed thing. Um, we, there is a belief that all of us are made of star stuff at some point, at some level. This is where we come from. Beings of light encapsulated within, you know, flesh. That is who you are. Syrian Stargate, transcendence, prayerfulness, serenity. Can you see that? Oh, that is number 54. Let us go ahead and read that. Elements, air, water, light, crystal, star, star, sapphire, celestial, quartz, selenite. Can't make this stuff up. Chakras, heart chakra, high heart, crown, soul star, planets, Venus, Neptune, Zodiac signs, Libra, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius. Dwelling in the sixth dimension around the white dwarf star called Sirius B in the Canis Major constellation, the Syrians are peaceful beings of great light and transcendence who treasure prayerfulness and sacred communion above all else, reminding one to be unwaveringly faithful to fulfilling one's highest spiritual evolution through embodying the traits of reverence and soul integrity. Prayerful devotion will initiate experiences of spiritual transcendence that will allow for more beautiful states of being 
that brings serenity and greater meaning into your life. By bringing others, stop, back up. By being a beacon of light, those who need to come to you will be attracted to you. The high vibration of this will help you. If you don't already have some selenite, please get some. They're very inexpensive. You don't have to get big pieces. You can get small tumbled um, pieces to start off with. Then you can slowly get larger pieces because this vibration will help you. You should carry some around with you to help you to remain unaffected by quote unquote, the weightiness of what we just said. Meditation will assist you greatly there are a number of videos here on YouTube where you can do a guided meditation to help you get in communion, direct communion, so that you can hear them more clearly for those of you who do not. Or if you feel like the shaking energy inside, it could be the human aspects of you being fearful of what it knows is coming. These meditations will help you to calm the physical being so that you can really embrace that side of you. An image would be to see a crystal angel, an angel emitting white light made of crystal, crystal essence, however you visualize that always, always floating beside you, whether it is a large one, a small one, or something that is part of you. That glowing, knowing part of you never leaves. And by asking that energy on a moment by moment basis, experience by experience basis, can you give me some insight on this? How do I move forward? You can do that. Look at that. Look at this. Keep this image in your mind at all times to help you understand who you are so that the intuition, the nudges that you receive, you can easily follow knowing that you are following truth. Thank you so much for tuning in to this reading today. And I will see you next week. Bye.